Hello Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I do readings for Pisces. This is the second reading of the day. And the first reading we were looking at exchanging gifts. Now if you would like to see that video, please make sure to go look. I have either a playlist of videos for this week or as well you can just go to the homepage and look at the video right before this one in the uploads. Um, I'm also offering memberships on YouTube where you get an extra video every week. Now uh, the last one I posted um, or one of the last ones I posted was all the three different three card draws you can do f with yourself uh, uh, every day. And there's 12 of them that I post to 12 different kinds. So uh, just to show you how you can expand on it. doesn't have to be the same old thing. You can even keep a journal. So that's one of the videos that I post along with many others. Now is starting to get quite the collection and uh, I enjoy posting these um, just a little bit more than the reading. So if that interests you, please go check that out. And um, um, you can join here on Patreon. They're both the same. It's just the platform that you prefer to join on. All right, I'm going to continue here with Stop, Drop, and Ground. This is a card for the second reading. The thing that really hit me about this reading or this or today was the fact that it's a lot about nurturing the inside. We've been talking a lot this week about protecting yourself from hurt from outside. There's been a lot of that that's been discussed and I, I'm i thinking that we might be afraid to put our heart on display again. Afraid that people are going to trample all over it. We have to start trusting though that um, when we're going in the wrong direction of always self-protection, we sometimes uh, miss the point that when we get stopped up, it's spirit and life and your personal journey, even your inner guide trying to tell you, please stop. You need to take the time to exchange these energies. And that's what the exchanging gift was about, to nurture more of the heart and less of the protective shield that you constantly draw, uh, draw around you. And this is saying as well, stop, drop, and ground. Number 31, four, has the four of wands of stop, look at where you are, celebrate. We've been seeing the four of wands a lot in the readings, or at least that's the energy I've been feeling. For this card, this is what is being said. How long has it since you've given yourself a moment to pause, just for the joy of it? If you've been caught up in the hustle or feeling anxious or stressed about the future, it's time to pause, full stop. It's time to ground yourself with self-love. Drop your yoga mat, drop in on a movie night with family, drop into laughter with your besties. Seriously, your soul is asking for this. And while stopping and dropping can feel drastic, especially if you've been on the hamster wheel of busy for a while, it's also perfect medicine for resetting and realigning your goals with the path you are on. And that's what we're talking about a lot this week, about resetting and realigning with your goals. Sometimes we think we want something or we're protecting ourselves and then it's saying, no, you must open up with your heart. You need to change that energy and then follow through and see if that fits better. Okay. If you're taking an unnecessary work that feels soul-sucking, you need to stop. If you're repeatedly worrying about metrics, relationships, or money, you need to stop. Ruminate with Rumi instead. Grab a tea and play hooky from your to-do list for a while. Know that you are deserving of the sacred pause, stop, drop, and ground. Isn't about sticking your head in the sand and pretending that everything is wonderful when it's not. It's not about chanting positive mantras when you honestly feel like muck inside. It's about finding the real happy wherever you are. It's about actively pursuing grounded presence today while remembering that it doesn't have to be perfect to be perfectly blissful. Okay? So definitely asking you to pause, to take a moment to figure out what you need to be looking at. 
I'm going to take from the Healing Mantra deck by Matt Kahn. If any of these decks interest you, I have a link at the bottom, and you can find them in affiliate links on my website. Conflict reminds me when I need more space for myself. There you go. Resolving anger. So this can be about resolving anger, but it's also about resolving conflict. We had chaos and conflict yesterday, and that's what we're dealing with all week long. Maybe it's time for you to look at things from a different standpoint, a different point of view. Okay? This is the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. The Card of Triumph. I feel it's got a bit of the chariot, a bit of the sun, a bit of the knights coming in with this card, and spiritual union of two. So I really feel they're saying that it does spell success when you do take these times. It's like I was talking to my husband last week. I was saying that I have a hard time with meditation videos that have music with the megahertz in it. And here's the why. Because when you're listening to them, it is one constant, unbroken tone. Yes, the tone changes slightly up and down, but it is one unbroken tone. And when music touches me, it is the ebb and flow of the melody, right? You have music that goes in that goes silent, that comes back in again. There are pauses and there are highs. And if it's just one constant tone, to me it feels like noise, right? So, same thing with life. Sometimes we're so on the path that it becomes so uncomfortable. It's like that one noise that never ever stops, that's always rattling your brain. You're so busy and it's just there all the time. You need that pause, that fresh air. Just like we need vacations, we need walks, we need a change of pace so that we can get a fresh insight, a moment to pause, a moment to breathe, a moment for the melody to kick back in again. Okay? So it's very much a the same. It's exchanging gifts. I said I felt a little bit of the chariot, and there it is, okay? So that momentum that you have sometimes, you need to give the horses, the dogs, the sphinx, whatever is pulling your chariot, the electric engine, <laughs> a break, okay? This is a Justice card in reverse. No. Oh. This is a card that has nothing on it. So what do we call this? <laughs> All right. Now we have 
the Four of Wands again. Okay. Sorry, I put the deck in reverse here. Okay. And I do believe that this is the Ten, the ten of Pentacles. Okay. So, not taking into account that this, this blank card, okay, that has nothing on it, was not supposed to be in the deck, but it did choose to come out. So, maybe a walk in nature, maybe a sparkle in life, okay. On one side, there are... On one side there are leaves that you can't see except in the shadows as you can see and on this side you see them they're more of a gold color so it's it's almost saying from the invisible from the transparent to the visible when you take a pause you make the transpar the transparent visible so I'm um, absolutely yeah I don't care when you put a card and it decides to flip like that there's got to be a meaning to it there's a meaning to everything there's a meaning to everything. So your chariot isn't about the perfect balance of things. Your chariot is about your celebration of self to see where you are and figure out where you want to go. That ultimately is in abundance. You want to be moving into abundance, right? Okay. So this card is... Ooh. This is the strength card. Look at this. Mm -hmm. It's got the Coliseum on it. So you have, of course, where the lion is, right? So this stage where you perform, where you show all your best attribute and your courage, it's not about a display of what is fair and what's seen in the world. It's more about your personal journey and how you go, okay? Um, nobody dictates how fast you have to go. And if they do, there's a problem. I mean, that's a problem to begin with, Pisces. Okay. This is a page of wands in reverse. So, when you dictate going, I need to have things a certain way, a certain, um, you know, because I feel that the Six of Pentacles is a personal balance. The Justice card is more about having the scales. Even when you see it on the card, the scales are evenly balanced on the Justice. It's like this and this are evenly balanced. On the Six of Pentacles, it's not quite, but they're both represent balance. One is more of, um, you know, uh, an authority-based balance um, on ethics and laws and morals, okay? That's the way I've always seen the law. It's like, if you're going to go to course, you're going to have, you know, good results, you know? Um, and things are going to fall into place because they're perfectly balanced based on, you know, a ruling. But the thing is, with that is that if you are doing that, you're also dispelling a lot of the new things. You need to take into account the things that make you tick, that make you move forward. All right, the card that came out after that was the Queen of Pentacles again. She has been coming out. She has been asking you to nurture. I didn't believe it was this morning that she was asking to nurture. Okay? It's time to nurture the self. It's time to nurture the abundance, nurture the celebration, nurture the downtime to let the abundance in. The Queen of Pentacles is very much a beautiful mother energy. She is the stop, drop, and ground. Okay? She's the one who plays with the animals and the children and is out there in the nature of things, letting abundance fill her senses her senses and I feel that's what you need to do as well okay that's the ten of swords
Okay, that's the four. That's this one. This is the page, the page of cups. And I do believe this is the four. Yeah, it is the four of cups in reverse. So, when you're too busy showing yourself off to the world of, you know, the great feats of, of duty and, and things that you're doing all the time, you not only stop the new ideas from coming in, you're performing, right? You're performing what's expected. It's like everybody says, you should be listening. Like I said, I listened to those meditation videos. Oh, yes, it was good. No, it wasn't good. It wasn't good for me. I don't like those. I don't like them. I don't find them calm. I find them annoying, actually. Okay, so I listen to different things. I'd rather listen to the ebb and flow of a voice, birds, waves, because there is an ebb and flow to it. Okay, and it gets me out of the um, sensation of being stuck. Because when you can't get past what everybody does, or because you're trying to do it everybody else's way, you then stay stuck because you're not doing it your way. Okay, your way is okay. There's nothing wrong with your way. Your way is the Page of Cups. And that is your true nature. It's not the set Page of Cups true nature or the set Piscean way. It's your Piscean way. Okay? So when you nurture that, you let that in. Okay? When you nurture the ideas that you haven't let in, you start feeling more natural, as in yourself. Hmm, what is this one? Oh, this one is the Two of Cups. Very nice, but it didn't come out. Some of these cards don't look like the traditional because they're extra cards. Okay, and there we go. At the end you have a Hierophant. What happens with the Hierophant? You get to learn new things, and then you get to release old things. You don't stay stuck. So you restore the balance for the Hierophant card. You don't only say, well, that's the way it's been always done. You know, everybody listens to this meditation. Everybody else makes all of these meditation videos the same way. It must work. Okay? No. You listen to somebody who's just talking. Has different ebb and flow to it. Makes you feel better. Works for you. You have learned something. You've gained wisdom on yourself. And then others are allowed to do the same. They're allowed to agree that some things work and other things work, and it doesn't make them right or wrong. It just makes them balance within themselves. That's it. Okay? So, as we go along here, we have the chariot. Not to make things equal, but to make things balanced. To enjoy the time to celebrate your abundance to nurture who you are, to bring in learning and wisdom all at once. And if this chariot continues, this show of strength, that that fakeness, that that just that what everybody else does, okay, if you take that chariot down this way, you're just gonna stay stuck. So this is the stuck version of you. And this is the enlightened version of you. So do you have a choice? You can keep trying it, doing it the same way you have been. And keep hitting your head on the rock or the mountain that we had this week. Or you can try a new way. Okay? You can triumph. And you can realize that triumph, that conflict, brings in triumphs. Because the conflict is like, it's telling you, like me, this meditation doesn't work. Why do you keep trying it this way? It's not working. Do it a different way. Okay? Do you don't want to do meditation with your eyes closed? Don't do it with your eyes closed. Just because they tell you close your eyes doesn't mean that you have to. Okay, so just do it your way. And take a moment to stop and exchange things to see that maybe I can try it a different way. Because maybe you're so busy trying to get there, the set way that's been put out there, that you're having a hard time to find a different way. Okay? The new ideas are not coming in with the page of wands. They're getting stuck. The communication's not coming in. All right, my beautiful ones, that is it for this one. And uh, tomorrow is the roundup day, of course. Now let me check, because I start checking in my calendars to see what we are doing 
Oh, I don't think I've actually written it down. Um, so it would probably be the first healing of the year. The first healing reading. And I haven't done those in a while, but um, yeah, I can't wait to do it for you Pisces. We're going to look at that because last month we had the yearly to do as well. So we've skipped the month. So we're going to start those again. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. Um, why don't you write in the comments something like, I'm, I'm going to take some time to stop. Um, drop and <laughs> stop, drop, and relax. Let's just relax. You don't even need to ground. Just relax. Okay, breathe. Um, or say something like, write in the comments, I am, I am the pause and the melody. There you go. I like that one too. Take care of yourself, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.